made it to the top. Today I'm at Rocky Neck State Park in East Lyme. Rocky Neck is really known for its beach and its hiking trails. It's a good place to have a camp out. Not a lot of bikers come here. When I looked at YouTube for YouTube videos of Rocky Neck, there aren't a lot and the ones that they have are pretty outdated. So I just want to get some of the cooler stuff on video today and maybe you come out here and decide if it's a good place to ride or not for yourself. Trail that starts sort of at the north end of the park. It's sort of a hidden gem. A lot of people don't know what's up here. Pretty cool, sort of roller coastery type features. And then you get to branch off to a pretty sudden and fast downhill trail. One of the trails I learned to mountain bike on that I first came across. So it's a fun one. Let's see if we can do it justice here. I love those rock up and downs. And you come over here. Pretty fast paced downhill trail. A few things to make it interesting. A little drop here. And a hard turn to another drop. To another hard turn. And down you go. One of my favorite runs at Rocky Neck right there. Rocky Neck has a lot of cool features and obstacles. Just a little bit off the beaten path. I'm going to ride down one of them here and let you check it out. That's a fun one too. We're approaching my favorite feature in the park. It's my favorite thing to show people when they come here for the first time. It's a big roller, 20, maybe closer to 25 feet. Lovingly called the waterfall. It doesn't appear on camera as intimidating as it is but it's pretty cool. We're at the top of the waterfall. I'll try to show it to you from a few different perspectives. There it is looking straight down. Crosses that main trail into a little path over there. I'll get you a side view so you can see how steep it is. It's actually not too steep, but it's, again, it's intimidating. And obviously we are going to go down this. Time for that run down the waterfall. Here we go. There's a small section on the western perimeter of the park. It ends in a really cool overlook. And it has some neat stuff along the way. And then after the overlook, the trail gets a little more challenging and it's a lot of fun. So let's check it out.
kicks you back out to the main trail. Pretty cool section. Very tough climb. I'll be walking it. I've seen a few people try to climb this. And a couple of them almost made it to the top. It's pretty chunky. Lots of things to get in your way. Roots, rocks. <coughs> Excuse me. Roots and rocks. It's a techie downhill too, so if you want to come and try that, it's also pretty fun. This part of the trail is really neat. Terminates in a really neat overlook. It's got a lot of features. A lot of line options too. I'll take the easier line here. Now up ahead, I can treat it like a roller, go down that way, or try to ride off camber a little bit and treat that end as a little drop. I think that's what we'll do. Not too bad. And here's my favorite part. Maybe favorite part of the whole part. Pretty overlook of East Lime, especially at sunset. That's enough for the scenery for now. We're gonna continue on this trail. Ends up being pretty cool. Ends up pretty fast downhill with lots of neat stuff to ride up over and around. So let's check it out. always trips me up tight corner slows me down quite a bit there we go there we go that wasn't great better than I usually do yeah fit through here all right so that's a pretty fun run on the west side of the park this area down here by the pavilion is really fun too. Unfortunately, it's off limits until after October 1st for bike riders. Get a lot of barbecuers and families having fun down there in the summer months. But there's some really cool lines to check out over here. Lots of different ways to head down this rock slab. And behind that rock slab, you can see there's a whole nother line that goes out to the point out there. And there's a pretty cool roller and some other things back there. We'll have to check that out in the fall. Another fun area, a little off the beaten path. Bit of a climb to get to it, but it's got a cool line to pop you down back on the main trail. There's a few ways down, but I chose the easier one. If you find yourself at the top of the hill that I'm on and you want to get down it the fastest way possible, there's no better way than this double drop to that pretty steep descent. That way it takes you to the main parking lot. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to show you the main path down. Here's the perspective from the other side of that double drop that gets you down the hill the fastest way possible. i show you kind of a neat drop it's up here I'm back at the top where that of the line where they took that drop but I'm gonna do the regular trail from here because it's pretty neat
Well, that's it for this video. I think I showed you a few of the cooler, lesser known places around the park, but that's not all Rocky Neck has to offer. There's a couple new trails, some flow air trails, and there's some hiking trails that you can take a bike on that are worth checking out, kind of hidden in the middle of the park. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.